scenarios where you need to generate a cut or a hole feature through a bunch of different parts, like this bracket and this beam, there are a few ways to get the desired results. We are first going to make use of the hole series feature. We are just making a basic hole on a plate and a beam. First, I can choose to create a new hole or generate one from an existing feature. For my purpose, I'm going to generate a new one by selecting the points that I have previously generated in a sketch. Then I'm going to select the second last tab that specify the end specifications. I have a few end conditions to choose from here. You'll notice that as soon as the feature is created, it adds the holes to the necessary parts. And here, it adds the whole feature to the part level as well. So I know that my part will always be correct when I need to go back and finish the detailing. I don't have to go and measure up where the hole needs to be placed first. Next up, I'm going to use the hole wizard feature. Here, I can again choose the type of hole I'm creating and add the necessary points to these. To make sure that the feature will be created on part level and that it changed the part on part level, I will make sure that all the parts that I want to be changed by this feature is selected under the feature scope section. And I'm also going to ensure that I select the propagate to feature parts option. Without this option selected, the change will only be available and visible on assembly level and not on the parts. Once I've created the feature, I can open up the part separately and I will then see that my feature has been added to my feature tree and in the graphics window they will be visible. Now that they have been added to part level, this will allow me to make accurate detailed drawings when completing my designs. There are other ways, of course, to also go and generate features in the assembly and to carry that feature through to part level. We will discuss that in a later video. Thank you for joining this video.